السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. وعليكم السلام. ما شاء الله. Today we are on the fourth episode of Bedtime Stories with Jumpy Juaria. As you can see from her, today she is in her element because tomorrow is a holiday. It's a Friday today, and she is not willing to sleep with me. So I need to tell her story that make sure that she sleeps. Maybe I am going to tell you a scary story today. Let's switch off the lights and let's learn about the story. Lights off. It's now very very dark and I'm going to tell you a story about a thief. And this thief was in Medina. And this thief was very very dangerous. Now I can see Juwaria closing her eyes. All right. You know, Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam built a masjid in Medina. This masjid is called Masjid Al-Aqsa. No, Masjid Al-Aqsa is in Jerusalem. There is a masjid in Makkah. What is that masjid called? Kaaba. Kaaba. It's called Baitullah, Baitul Atiq. This is the house of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala built by Ibrahim Alayhi Salam. Masjid Al-Aqsa. We will talk about it in Inshallah our episode on Miraj. But this is another masjid in Medina that Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam made. This is called Masjid Al-Nabawi. Which one? Nabawi. Yes, Nabawi from the word Nabi. You know what was Medina called before Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam went to Medina? No. It was called Yathrib. Yes. Yathrib means lot of stones and lot of rocks and not very good land. Then Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam went to Medina. They called it Tuba. Tuba means very nice, like little Juwaria, sweet. And now we know it as the city of Rasulullah, as Medina to Nabi, which became Medina. So this is a story that happened in the Masjid of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam in Medina. Have you been to Medina yet? No. No. Why do we go to Medina? And that's why Medina is very important masjid. Oh, there is a masjid in Medina. So Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam told us we can go only to three masjids. And the ones that you told me, the one in Makkah, which is um, Kaaba, Kaaba, the one in Medina, which is Masjidun Nabawi, Nabawi, and the one in Jerusalem is Masjid Al Aqsa. Aqsa. So these are three masjids that we can go in. Let's start our horror story now. Are you ready? Yes. Are you scared? No. Okay. If you are scared, I am going to give you a formula. Whenever you scared, the story will tell you the answers. It's a long, lovely story. One day there were lots and lots of dates in Medina, and Subhanallah, when Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to get some dates, he kept it in the masjid to give it to the poor people. But now there has to be somebody to take care of the dates, isn't it? I told you in my last story the dates in Arabic. What are dates called in Arabic? Tamar. 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 Wonderful. And what is date palm tree called in Arabic? Don't do any nakras. Nakhla. Wonderful. It's nakhla. Right. Good. So now Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam kept the dates in Masjid An Nabi, and he wanted a young boy to take care of it. So he called this beautiful young boy whose name is Abu Huraira. Abu Huraira radhiyallahu ta'ala is a sahabi of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam what's a sahabi mm, sahabi is rasulullah's friends they help him they take care of him they learn from him and then they tell others about the our deen so abu huraira radhiyallahu ta'ala was this young sahabi who was appointed by rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam to take care of the dates so rasulullah said abu huraira Let nobody come and steal from the dates. Take care, and I will ask you in the morning. So Abu Hurairah said, "Yes, Sir Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Don't worry." Now, suddenly Abu Hurairah is taking care of the dates. It is very late, very dark, and suddenly he hears somebody coming in. Tick, tock, tick, tock, tick, and then the man. Took some dates in the hand, and he's trying to run away. Hey, who is this? Abu Hurairah shouted. He caught the man. He said, "You're taking away the dates. I'm going to catch you. I'm going to tell Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam about it." Don't get worried. 
suddenly the old man said oh young abu hurera i am very poor i have no food to eat he is telling lies really ha yes. abu hurera did not know that so now abu hurera felt pity you know what is pity no pity is when you feel sad for somebody so he said oh you are a poor man okay take the dates so morning after fajr salah maybe rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam met abu huraira he said abu huraira did somebody come to you yesterday ping abu huraira are how did rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam know about this he said naam ya rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam naam means yes and what does no in arabic mean la oh you know yes naam and la children let's learn this naam means no la means no naam means yes yes naam means yes la means no so now abu hurairah said naam ya rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam one old man came and he wanted to steal my dates but i felt very sorry and pity on him and i let him go so rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said ya abu hurairah he is a liar has a kazab he is a kazab he is a liar he is lying to you so abu hurairah said tomorrow i'll catch him if he comes again So now again Abu Hurairah is sitting. It's very late in the night. Maybe 12 o'clock, maybe 1 o'clock. Again that old man came. And he is about to steal and Abu Hurairah catches him. I am not going to leave you today. You are a liar. You stole a lie to me. The old man said, "No, no, no, no. Please let me go. I am very poor." What did Abu Hurairah say? Okay, you are very poor. You see, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Sahabas had very soft heart. When some poor came, they always wanted to give money. Generous, they wanted to give lots of sadaka. Do your abu and mummy do sadaka? Yes. Masha Allah, everybody should do sadaka. So he let him go. Again, Rasool Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam met him in the morning, and he said, Abu Hurairah, did anybody come yesterday? He said, Naam ya Rasool Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Rasul Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said what did he tell you he told me that he is very poor haza kazab he is a liar abu hurara said okay now i'm not going to leave him third night abu hurara was ready just to check and catch this thief again this thief came and again he was about to steal abu hurara caught him he said now i'm not going to leave you old man i'm going to take you to rasul allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam you are a liar and a thief so the old man says shall i tell you one special ayah in the quran and the sahabas wanted to always learn about the quran he said yes he said this ayah this verse from the quran will save you from the jinn what is jinn Jinn is who say he laugh in a way non prayerful. He say to this, do that. Ah, Jinn says to do this and to do that. They are made from fire. We are made from clay, and they are also called shayatin, shaitan. So now this man said, I will tell you an ayah which, if you recite every night before sleeping, Allah will protect you from the jinn. and from alhamdulillah many things so abu huraira was very keen he said yes sure tell me the ayah and he said it is the greatest verse in the quran it is called ayatul kursi you know what is ayatul kursi no. you don't know i will recite it for you i think you can recite it for me if i start it is in surah al baqarah chapter number 2 verse number 255 allah says allahu la ilaha illa hu al hayyul qayyum Please, Juwaria, recite the ayat al-Kursi. La ilaha illallah wa la ilaha illallah. La taqulu sina tawala na. Lahu ma fi al-samawati wa ma fi al-ard. Man zaladi yashwau inna illa wini inkal ma wina aytil ma khalfu wa la yuitun bi shayim. 
I think we will practice it more Juvaria and all of you should practice it with your abus all the children are listening this is the greatest ayah in the Quran which a thief taught Abu Huraira so Abu Huraira wanted to check with Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam so next day morning again they he goes to the masjid and Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said Ya Abu Huraira did your man come again he says, Naam Ya Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Yes, O Prophet of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Do you see he told me about the greatest ayah in the Quran, which he says is Ayatul Kursi. And you know what Prophet of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said? Do you know who was the man who kept coming to you for three days and three nights? Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Yes or no? What is no in Arabic? La. La, Ya Rasulullah, I don't know. So Rasulullah Sallallahu said, He is Iblis. He is a jinn. Huh? A jinn? He is a liar. Always he says lies. But this time, he told you the truth. Yes, if you recite Ayat Al-Kursi before you sleep, Inshallah, Allah will protect you from the shaitan and from many other things alhamdulillah so my little brothers and sisters the children never forget to recite ayatul kursi before you go to bed let can you can practice ayatul kursi one more time so this is your ayatul kursi i hope you remember it you memorize it and you never ever forget to read it any time of the day especially after every fat salah and after or rather before going to bed so yeah, this is Dawood uncle with bedtime stories with jumpy juicy and now little sleepy juaria assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh would you like to say salam to your brothers and sisters juaria go ahead wa alaikum assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh bye bye see you next time till then fi amanillah